So today we are at Jason Wu and the inspiration for the look is Helmut Newton. When we're talking Helmut Newton, we're talking chic, sophisticated, elegance. So to achieve the look, we're doing a braid in the back of the head. We're doing a long parting and in the front we're do, doing just one wave. You have a masculine side and then you have a feminine side. We want the hair to be shiny because we want everything to have a certain modernity. And then we finish with a hairspray, full control. We've chosen to go for the very strong eyebrows and very strong mouth. Um, we've evened out skin tone using taupe sculpt underneath the cheekbones and in the contour of the eye. We've used a very thin black line and curled lashes and mascara on top. And then we've used highlight on top of the cheekbones and on top of the brow bone, really giving that sculpted feel to the whole look. And then on the lips, we've used two lip liners. The first lip liner we used covering the whole mouth, which was cherry red. Then we used a vino on the outside. And then on the inside, we used a pink lipstick with a lip tint on top and then a neon powder on top of that. So it's a gradation with a very bright pink center. Helma Newton versus Lillian Bassman. I adore both their work. I mean, amazing. Um, Helma Newton, obviously known for his provocative sexy photos. Lillian Bassman, dreamlike, all these beautiful pictures of women in lingerie, soft, beautiful, ethereal, very, very different. But what I found in common was this appreciation of the feminine form and uh, concentration on the female body. I think that's really important and was really evident throughout the collection that, you know, I wanted to concentrate on the contour, something that's quite sexy and still sophisticated at the same time. And you know, you can also see the contrast with the material choice, leather and lace, leather and chiffon, draped jersey over leather bustier, and an idea of x-ray from Helmut Newton's x-ray photos, you know, x-ray jackets made in organza where you can see the construction inside. And I worked with La Perla on just gorgeous lingerie and gloves that they made for me that just made everything that you see as beautiful inside as out. As my uh, intrepid colleague Tim Blank said, it was the 50 shades of woo. That's an obvious reference to the harnesses and the very Helmut Newton inspired sexiness of the, of the collection. Well, the harness detail was a big running, recurring theme throughout the collection. I wanted to make my version of a harness. It was a very refined version, very thin, beautifully finished, no stitching whatsoever. It just caresses the body ever so lightly that, you know, it, it was a little tough, but also beautiful at the same time. The hunger, I could feel the hunger. Catherine Deneuve, is David Bowie in the room somewhere? It's really super sexy. The show was spectacular, and what an about face in a season where there's so much color on the runway. Jason said no to the idea of bold color, and went straight to black, sexy, severe, razor cut, close to the body, and just a touch of lace, which is on every runway, and that point is free, which made it so elegant and so right. The harnesses gave it just a little bit of naughty, but those clothes are super nice, in a very Jason Wu sort of a way. Well, I want to sort of these like tall dresses. I mean, I think there's nothing more dreamlike than these tall fantasy-like ball gowns but you know, mixed with these harness details that just toughen them up. I mean, this collection was really about my version of a sexy and strong woman. He really tried to go in a sexier direction. Uh, and you know, that's not something we think about when we think of Jason Wu. I mean, the first thing that obviously comes to mind is Michelle Obama and the inauguration ball dress, which was 
you know, the opposite of provocative. It was quite sort of princess-y. You know, good for him for trying something new. It, it, you know, I think it really worked, especially with the pieces towards the end, the more tailored pieces, the jumpsuits I really loved, and I felt like they sort of played on that androgyny. That was also really part of Helmut Newton's oeuvre, and uh, they looked really good. I'm wearing a black leather dress. I think what stands out about it is that, of course, it has the Jason Wu shape. It's very classic. And I was thinking about that the other day, that the texture of the leather is quite different. And then, of course, there's, he does the famous lace. He always manages to put that somewhere in there. And um, it's not your basic, everyday little black leather dress. I am incredibly humbled by Carla Murphy. She is a model. She is just the most legendary model and a dear friend. I'm a fan as a consumer and I'm a fan as a friend. Jason Wu was amazing. It was a collection that will be timeless and seasonless. It was, it's unusual to see so much black leather for spring, but the dresses were beautiful. They were immaculately cut, but they were all clothes that will, that look sexy and new, even though we've seen some of those kinds of things before. And it, I thought those are clothes that you would invest in. Those are clothes that would stand the test of time. all sort of such a dream and such a fantasy and such a such a dream of mine to be able to do what I love every single day, wake up, go to work, be inspired, and be enthusiastic about everything that I do and and have people appreciate it and understand it. I think that's it doesn't get better than that for me.